Hi, I'm Dave Baker, host of the HomeFixItPage.com. We're in a condo that's getting renovated. You'll hear a lot of that going on. One of the most important things, one of the first things you need to do is check your water heater. I'm here with Matt Byrne from Mr. Plumber. They're gonna need a new water heater in this condo, Matt. Yeah, Dave, the water heater that I have here is about 10 years old. Looks like very little if no maintenance has ever been done on it. So they should probably upgrade their water heater at this time to make sure they have another 10, 15 years without any issues. All right, obviously, water heater. Mm -hmm. What's this little bad boy here? That's a thermal expansion tank. So when you heat water, water expands. Think of it as a giant pressure cooker. So that tank right there absorbs the extra pressure created when you heat the water. Now water, so water will go in there if it's under pressure. It will come back out when the pressure goes away, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a little diaphragm that moves back and forth. So it absorbs the extra pressure and then pushes it back into the system when needed. Very good. One more important thing we talk about a lot is this right here. That's the cutoff, emergency cutoff, water yeah, cutoff. That's used to isolate the water heater to uh, if, if you ever have to service it or if you have an emergency. You can just come in here, crank it and turn it off. I got to say, none of that looks clean or like it should. Yeah, and the unit is a little over 10 years old, and as most utility rooms uh, go, it's about average. So we're installing a brand new water heater in this condo. How long do you expect this water heater is gonna last? Most water heaters are gonna last eight to 12 years. Okay, so if I'm sitting watching this and I've got 12 years on my water heater, and I know I really haven't taken real good care of it, because frankly, who does? I mean, it's, it's a water heater you never hear about it until it's broken. I get a new one installed, what can I expect for a warranty on my new water heater? Uh, the standard warranties are six-year tank and parts, one-year labor. Uh, we also have some upgraded options available for 10 years and lifetime also. Does that matter what kind of water heater I get, an electric one, a gas one, a tankless water heater? No, we have, uh, we have different warranties available for the different products, but uh, you can always speak with one of our associates. They can say exactly which ones are applied to each different model water heater. If you have a chance and you have the opportunity, Tankless gas water heater, baby. That's the best to go. What do you think about that? Uh, especially if you have kids. <laughs> Never run out of hot water again. Go tankless. Okay, we're here with a thermal expansion tank. Every water heater has to have one. It's code, right? Yes. If your water heater doesn't have one and you get a new water heater, it has to come with one of these. All you do is take it out of the box and screw it in there, right? Uh, sort of. But first, you got to take a pressure reading to see what the water pressure is inside the house. Right. And then you have to match the air pressure inside the tank to the existing water pressure. Uh, Otherwise, the tank won't operate as well as it should. Have you already taken the reading yes, in the we house? Yes, we did. What was it? So we have, 50, we have 50 PSI in the building. Which is good. So what we're going to do now is hook it up to, uh, you can use either a bicycle pump or an air compressor and pre-charge it up to 55 PSI because it only comes standard 35. Okay, so now it's good to go, you'll hook it up. Do some plumbers just take it out of the box, hook it up and say you're good to go? Some plumbers, most homeowners, yes, they do that. They just assume, oh, it's simple enough, just unscrew it, screw it back in. But there's a little bit more to it. So if you don't pressurize it, it's never gonna work right. So if you're getting a new water heater and they don't pressurize your thermal expansion tank, you're not getting a quality install. All right, here I am, I'm back. It's a brand new unit, it's all totally installed. Water heater. Thermal expansion tank, ball valve, shutoff valve. So now all she has to do is swing that and it shuts water off to everything. To everything on the water heater side. Okay. So it'll kill the water to the thermal expansion tank and the, and the hot water. Very good. Got down here. Your drain valve. Drain valve, we can start right away. Well, we're not gonna do it today, but in a year from now when you guys come and do the service, you'll drain it every year and you'll be in good shape. Yes. One more thing, I noticed the old unit didn't have one of these. How important is a, uh, a log of what's going on here? Well, it's one to remind you that it's been maintained properly, and it's also for the service techs to know if there's been an issue, what to pay closer attention to when they do come out. Very good, it's good to go. We're making hot water right now. <laughs>